Planet Dolan. From underwater museums to ancient cities lost to the watery sea gods, we look at eight amazing sites buried in the ocean. Hi there! My name is Doopy, and I'm here to tell you some really interesting things that you might not have heard before. Number eight, Lion City. In 1959, the city of Shichang, aka Lion City, was purposely flooded to create a lake that would power a hydroelectric plant. In its heyday, it was the political center of the country, and nearly 300,000 people had to relocate to make way for the lake. Fifty years later, the government finally decided to see what was left of the drowned city. There are huge, well-preserved structures from the 1300s and epic engravings of dragons and phoenixes. The place is pretty intact, considering it's been immersed in water for 55 years. <laughs> you should see me after I fall asleep in the bathtub. I'm wrinklier than a Sharpay. Sharpays are really cute. Number seven, Heraklion, Egypt. We've all heard about what a babe Cleopatra was. Back in the day, everybody wanted to bang, marry, or kill her. Even her own brother probably banged her. History is gross. Anyway, after 1200 years, archaeologists finally found Cleopatra's old palace, which she most likely inherited. Ha-ching! And with it, the lost city of Heraklion, which was an Egyptian port city partly built on stilts. 30 feet underwater, they also managed to find 64 ships and some big-ass statues of Egyptian gods. For a while, historians weren't sure that the lost city wasn't just literary make-believe like Hogwarts or France, but there she was. It was just a few centuries after Cleo's reign that Heraklion went down after an earthquake damned the place to hell. Rip in peace, Heraklion. Number six, Mahabalipuram, India. Mahabalipuram is an ancient Indian city where the ruling dynasty hung out between the third and ninth centuries. The city is said to have had seven pagodas or shrines built in honor of some guy named King Bali in the eighth century but only one of the pagodas was thought to have survived the test of time. The other six were thought to be lost until a tsunami hit in 2004, and the giant waves gave glimpses of what was underneath. A lion statue was revealed in a series of stone steps. They're hoping that with further research, archaeologists can confirm that the findings are the remaining pagodas, but they're too busy hanging out with Shia LaBeouf. Come on, guys. Number five, Baia, Italy. Back in the Roman days, anybody who's anybody got to hang out in Baia. It was full of debauchery and corruption, so it was basically like an olden school Vegas. Julius Caesar had a villa there. Nero hung out there. It was a resort city where you went to hang out and kick back at the mineral springs and the ruins show a bunch of wicked temples. By the time the city was submerged by nearby volcanoes, people were pretty over it. Not to mention, there were recurring bouts of malaria there and nobody likes getting a parasite while they're on holiday. If you're going to shit yourself on vacation, let it be because you ate too much. Number four, Yonagunijima, Japan. Everybody hop in the mystery machine and grab your Scooby snacks because this shit is mysterious as fuck. Back in the 80s, divers found some freaky looking stone formations off the coast of Yonaguni, Japan. The stones look like steps carved into the side of a mountain. There's even one section called the turtle because the patterns look like a shell. Japan's government aren't too interested in the weird rocks, since they're convinced that nature decided the underwater creatures needed a staircase for dramatic effect in their musical numbers. But some archaeologists are arguing that the rocks look too planned to have occurred naturally. But I think we all know who really did this. Aliens are taking over planet Earth, taking over one section of the ocean at a time. Mmm. I knew it. I knew it. Okay, now hand me the Scooby Snacks. I got the munchies bad. Number three, Pavlopetri, Greece. The oldest sunken city resides in the waters of southern Greece. Pavlopetri is a mere 15 feet below the water's surface and is the remains of a nine-acre, 5,000-year-old city. This place is so old, they're pretty sure it was built when everything from the Iliad went down. For the noobs at home, it's a giant poem about a banging hot chick some Greeks went to war over. The city planning alone pisses all over the cities of that current time. There are double-story houses, roads, and complex water systems. There are 15 buildings and it's surprisingly intact considering it's most likely sunk because of an earthquake. They think it sunk around 1000 BC, but it's definitely proof of how boss Greeks were at getting shit done. Man, those guys have really been coasting for the past few centuries. Number 2. Musa Cancun 
A recent addition to these underwater marvels is an underwater museum built off the coast of Cancun in Mexico. The museum was built in 2009 and has over 500 sculptures that are made from materials that promote coral growth. The collection is called Silent Evolution and shows humans interacting with one another, showing both how awesome we are and how shitty we can be. The whole installation weighs 200 tons. The project was actually an attempt to draw tourists away from the natural coral reefs where snorkelers had been causing a heap of damage. Which would have to be the most backhanded reason for art I've ever heard. You're ruining the things! Here's some other pretty things as punishment. Number 1. Warka, India Another mysterious site was discovered off the Gulf of Cambay in India and is suspected to be the remains of a city thought to be a myth. Some experts still maintain that it's only mythical, but they definitely need to do some more research into this. The lost city of Lord Krishna was called Dwarka, which means gateway to heaven in Sanskrit, and I probably butchered all of that. While the findings haven't been that epic, archaeologists found submerged settlements with artifacts dating back to 7,500 BCE. They found settlements, a big stone jetty, and crazy looking stone anchors. There's also a bastion, which is a fancy word for a fort where your guards would watch for bad guys. Lots of people are hoping they found this literary mythic city, but regardless of if it's the fairy tale they're hoping for, what they found is still pretty awesome. What's the most amazing thing you've ever unexpectedly found while walking around outside? Let us know in the Reddit page link below and you might be featured in a future countdown. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Written in code and containing intricate illustrations on a range of topics, no one has yet to be able to work out what the hell it's about. Not even top cryptographers in World War II could crack the damn thing.